Alrighty then, back once again for another reaction after a bit of a break thanks to all the hubbub of Christmas and New Year. Yeah, a lot of that stuff was pre-recorded of course. Um, we, I'm back, hooray, happy 2016 everybody, let's hope it's just as good as last year. Well, for me, uh, like you might have had a shitty year and I apologise. Let's hope this year's better. Anyway, we're back with more scooter tricks. This time I'm going to be doing the Halloween special because it's in chronological order to the channel. It came before episode 14, so it's only natural. You know, because who knows, continuity might be such and such. And uh, someone told me something might happen in this, so I thought, why not? Let's watch the Halloween special, <laughs> even though uh, it's a bit late for it. But yeah, I've got to do this in chronological order. Uh, so yeah, interesting that he decided to use uh, Lunar Eclipse so soon. I could tell by um, the preview images I downloaded this. Um, yes, I guess it means that he can skip this episode when he starts Season 2. So yeah. I will not waste any more time with this because I feel productive today. I've even got my anthology shirt on because I'm also making shorts for myself in shenanigans and all that. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a lot of stuff recorded over the next couple of days. So, off we go. Nightmare night? Yeah, it's, it's like a holiday that they've made about you. A holiday about me? Yeah, it's really hmm. popular, too. My own holiday. Yeah. Yeah, but it might not be what you're expecting. Check it out. Yeah. I know what you're doing, Maybe Celestia. I will. Oh, nice. Oh, I love this redone intro. I wouldn't mind if that was the permanent intro. The expressions fit better as well. <laughs> Twy, come on. What's taking so long? Whoa. Uh, are you supposed to be Trixie? Trixie? <laughs> Trixie? No. I'm dressed up like Star Swirl the Bearded. You wish um, you had Trixie's majestic flowing will. beard. Princess Luna will. She was actually around when he was alive. Wait. The night princess? She's coming here? Yeah, Celestia asked me to show Luna around the festival. Uh-huh. Don't you think she might have a grudge against you? You know, after you melted her mind? Uh, no. no she's she's good now. She's turned good. You can't just turn good or evil, Twy. You, you know, you, you can't just have a spell that changes people's perspective on life. Tell that to the writers. There's a spell that changes someone's perspective. Yeah, there's a spell that... Okay, I, yeah. You know, yeah, I the reformation spell, fine, yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah, what's interesting, why didn't Twilight fire the Reformation? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was going to ask why she didn't use that on Starlight, but Discord ate it, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. If he hadn't done that, they could have used the Reformation beam on everything. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi. Princess, Princess Luna. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Um. I'm Twilight Sparkle, your guide. Uh. Welcome to Ponyville. Uh. Thank you. And I love that game. I know who you are. Yeah. Right. Um. You. You guys don't have to keep bowing. So how was your trip? It was fine. Good. <laughs> okay. Seriously, this is ridiculous. Is there a way to make them stop? So we got pumpkin catapulting. That's that's quite pop. That's a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, we got some crazy dance party now, right there. That's you, you can see him dancing. Very crazy. Oh, that looks kind of dangerous, actually. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, guys, uh, um, it was just a spider. Jeez. Yeah. I, is this normal? No, this is. <laughs> is this normal? <laughs> okay, let's here. Let's you know. Let's go somewhere else. So this is the Nightmare Moon statue, where the children come and offer their candy here for Nightmare Moon, so that she will eat it instead of eating them. What? <laughs> that sounds horrible. I would never do that. Oh, well, it, it's only a story. But you tell this to children? Well, 
no one really believes it. I mean, ponies really just like to dress up and party on Nightmare Night. <sighs> it really is a great holiday, Luna. It, it's the most popular, at least. <laughs> that seems hard to believe. What about Celestia's holiday? The Summer Sun celebration? Well, it's more important, I guess. But I gotta admit, this is way more fun. So, what's it like, living with the princess? What? I bet you learn a lot from her. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> She's great, right? She's so wise and, and powerful. I'm kind of surprised you like her that much. What do you mean? Well, she always sends you and your friends off on dangerous missions without any guidance or help. Well, I, I guess we don't need her help. But she sent you to fight a dragon. Don't you think that was a bit much? Well, I... Yeah, I guess she probably thought we could handle it. But you could have died! But we didn't. Uh -huh. Everything so far has worked out. She knows what she's doing. <sighs> I can't win, can I? Well, she Aww. is the princess. Yeah, I don't need reminding. Is something wrong, Luna? Luna? I... <sighs> you don't know what it's like living with Celestia. She's always making these crazy immoral decisions, and they always turn out fine! Well, she has been around for like a thousand years or so. So have I. But you were on the moon. Yeah, I know! But at least I learned some humility. Celestia is still so self-centered. I just... For once, I want some respect. No pony takes me seriously. I came here for laughs, you. not for feels. To lower the moon. And this is nightmare night. This is your night. You have an entire day dedicated to you. Yeah, as a monster. You're a living legend. Yeah, the legend of an evil monster. I don't want to be that. I want to be a leader. I want to be a pony that is loved by her subjects and not feared. Well, well, why don't we show them that then? Come on, let's go back to the festival. Let's show them who you really are. What do you say? Okay. Go on. Uh, Jeez, c careful there, kid. Yeah. Well, I think that one conversation okay. gave Luna it's more okay. characterization it's than the show has ever right. given her. Why are you dressed up like Trixie? <laughs> hey there, princess. Listen, I'm you know I'm really sorry about that whole mind melting thing. You know I didn't know that was gonna happen. Um, it's fine. So, Applejack, uh, the, the princess would like to try out some games. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Toss the spider and try to land it on the web. <laughs> Sound what effects. Look, princess! Oh my god, would you look at that? It's Princess Luna. <laughs> would you look at that? <laughs> Hooray! Huh. This is kind of fun. <laughs> I like this uh, montage piano. You know, I think I did something good today. Oh, really? What? You know, I helped Luna realize that she's important. And just as respectable as Celestia. Well, duh. Celestia sucks. Whoa, Spike. No. No, she doesn't. Uh, yeah, she does. Luna's best princess. No. Oh. oh. Uh, Spike, the voice of 90% of the fandom. <laughs> I mean, I'm in the same boat as Rarity Dash. I don't think Celestia gets half the credit she even deserves from the fans. And there's certain things and decisions during her rule that people have misinterpreted or not given her the right amount of credit for. That There's a lot of depth to her that people apparently miss in favour of stacking it all on Luna just because she's got a bit of uh, post-Nightmare Moon angst. You know... That, yeah. <laughs> but to Spike, just, I love how in certain of series he just does not give a shit and will state his piece in Mentally Advanced and in this, and it's absolutely fantastic. Spike is 
just awesome. And I really wish that the show itself would have more of season two Spike. You know, that sarcastic but helpful little dragon. Not the awkward one that we get sometimes or the one that's always screwing up. You know, like uh, Spike at your service. We need more Lesson Zero Spike and Winter Wrap-Up Spike. You know, the good and the bad, both in a good way. Uh, so, yeah. Um, back to this, though. <laughs> As I was saying before, it seemed like this was more centred around building Luna's character than making comedy around the episode itself. So, there wasn't much laughter or discussion to be had with this. Just sitting and contemplating how good of a job he did with expanding on the way Luna feels about things. It was a chance for her to get things off her chest uh, to someone who wasn't going to judge her or rat her out or anything. I, I appreciate that. It, it gives us an insight into just how badly this is affecting her. And, I, <laughs> and any normal person from the real world can definitely see where Luna's coming from. But in the context of Equestria... <laughs> It just ends up not mattering at all, <laughs> and I can understand that would be very frustrating. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure what the timing was all about with this, whether because he was doing an October marathon, he wanted to get the Halloween episode out of the way, in which case, fair play to him. But yeah, I must have been mistaken that somebody told me something went down in this episode. I think the only thing that went down was a feels bomb right into my back of my brain but like, as soon as she started talking about just wanting some respect and stuff like that like wow that's so relatable i i feel so sorry for him because yes celestia has been a dick of a troll in this series this whole time and everything still works out <laughs> and just because it's working out for the citizens like oh but obviously nothing's wrong because everything's working out <laughs> This is how bad governments continue to run in real life. You know, they think, oh, well, it's not the end of the world yet. I guess the government's fine. No, stop complaining. It's not like, you know, we're dying or anything. Yeah. Oh, that nearly happened. Oh, well, it didn't. And I thank our ruler for such a thing. <laughs> you know, it's a very easy trap to fall into for any nation or society. But yeah... Real Show Celestia is very underrated and underappreciated, but th this Celestia, yeah, come on. The, the way they put it is like, yeah, how can she keep getting away with this? So I wonder how they will, well, how this guy, because it's mostly just him, I think, how he will work it when Celestia gets defeated by upcoming villains. Yeah, because she gets put out of the picture a lot, uh, so that the main six conveniently have the spotlight to take down the baddie. It shall be interesting, that's for sure. Anyways, I am moving on to the next video. I will see you guys next time.